Welcome to the Using the Calendar Tool demo. In this demo, you will learn how to access, navigate, and add dates to the calendar in your D2L Brightspace course. By the end of this demo, you will have your calendar set up for your course. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. You can access the calendar in three ways. One is to look at the calendar widget on the right side of the page and click on the word calendar. The second way is under the course tools menu at the top of the page. Click the drop down arrow and click calendar. The third way is to click on the date at the top of the page. Enter the calendar tool. On the right side, notice you have the calendar view for the current month. Any days with events will appear bold on the calendar. Clicking on a date will refresh the calendar view to show the events for that day. On the top right side of the center section, across from the date, you will have a drop down list of all of the calendars visible to you. By default, it is set to all calendars which would include all of your courses. If you click the drop down arrow you will notice that each course has been assigned its own color. When viewing calendar items use these colors to identify which course the event belongs to. You can remove a course from the list by clicking the X to the right. To add a course back to your list, use the green plus sign at the top of the list. Check the box next to the calendar you want to add and click the Add button. At the top of the calendar, you have five different views. Agenda, Day, Week, Month, and List. The Agenda view opens with the Today and tomorrow view. You can use the left and right arrows to change the view to the next 7 or 14 days. The day view opens with the hours listed for the current day. The left and right arrows will change the view to a future or past day. You can use the Today button to jump back to today's date. The Week view opens with the hours listed for the current week. Use the left and right arrows to change the view to a future or past week. You can use the This Week button to jump back to this week. The Month view opens with days listed for the current month. Use the left and right arrows to change this view to a past or future month. The list view opens with a list of all upcoming events posted to your calendar. Use the left and right arrows. You can change the view to see past events or all events. In addition, by clicking on a filter option, the list will only show the events that go along with that tool selected. You can filter by Dropbox, Checklist, Discussions, Grade, Materials, Modules, Quizzes, or Surveys. Each of the five views allows you to create new events. Under the date range you are viewing, Click on the Create Event button. If you don't see the Create Event button, make sure that you are inside of one of your courses. Note the course listed at the top of the page. This is the course this event will be listed under on the calendar. In the title field, enter the title you want to show up on the calendar. For example, Weekly Lab. 
In the description field, enter in a description or important information about this event. For example, weekly lab on the current chapter. Under attendees, you can choose for this calendar item to apply to everyone in the course, a single section, or multiple sections of the course. Under when, you can check the all day checkbox or enter the dates and times in the event starts and ends fields. I will start mine on March 19, 2015 at 1 p.m. It ends on March 19, 2015 at 2 p.m. You can make this event reoccur by clicking on Add Reoccurrence and setting the parameters. You can set the restrictions for when the event is visible by clicking on Add Restrictions and setting up the parameters. If you added either of these and want to remove them, click on the X next to each item. You may add the location of the event by clicking on the Locations drop-down and selecting a location. Or you can create a custom location by clicking on custom in the drop down box and enter your location in the box provided. If this is your first time working with locations in this course, you will need to add location options for this course by clicking on the locations link under the course tools menu or from the edit course link. Some locations are already created for you to use, but creating your own custom locations here will not allow you to link it to a seating chart later. Click the Create button when you are finished. Check that the event is located on your calendar and that the reoccurrence is correct if you set one up. Now let's add locations to this course. Click on the Course Tools menu or the Edit Course link. Then choose Locations. The All tab shows all of the preloaded locations. If you need to have a location added, contact Educational Technology at d2lhelp at midlandstech.edu. Place a check mark to the left of the classrooms you will use for this course. And then click the Set Active button. Notice that the active ones have check marks next to them. The non active ones have a circle with a dash through them. Return to the calendar tool and edit the event you created. Your location can now be chosen from the drop down menu. Once you set a location, you can add a seating chart. For more information on using the seating chart tool, please view its demo. Click the Save button to save these changes. If you click on the Settings link in the upper right corner, you can set your calendar options. Once you do, click the Save button to save your changes. You also have a task bar at the right. Tasks only show up on your calendar. You can add a task such as grade Dropbox submissions and it will appear on your calendar. Click off of the text to activate it. If you click on the arrow to the right you will see that it has no due date. You can change that to a specific date. Click on the words no due date. Click in the date field and type in the due date or select it from the drop down calendar and click the save icon. You can also add a note such as meet with Chris at noon. Click off of it to save. Click back on the task menu. 
When you have completed a task, click the checkbox. The system will automatically remove the task based on how you set up your parameters in the settings several steps ago. If you want to see it, click on the View Completed Task link. There is also an Import Events feature on the calendar. If you want to import a calendar file from the List tab, click on the More Actions drop-down menu and choose Import Events. If you are on one of the other tabs, just click on the Import Events button. Browse your computer for an iCal file to import events. This is a special file that you would have exported from one of your other calendars from a different system. Then click the Import button when you are finished. You have now successfully used the Calendar tool.